Now to a WSEZ investigation. Neighbors in one area say they've been overwhelmed by an odor for months, but haven't had any luck figuring out what's causing the smell, where it's coming from, or if they should be concerned. So fed up and frustrated, they reached out to us. And tonight, News Channel 3's Kimberly Keggy has some answers to their questions and a better idea of when relief might be in the air. To me, it's an odor like um, tires burning. Stick to your stomach. It makes, it, it makes your throat burn. It, it, it makes your lungs kind of burn. Jody Norris enjoys spending time outside her home in Canova. But she says there's been a lingering odor for a few months. And as they're spending most hours indoors, an odor so strong, it's keeping her up at night. That's what woke me up at 4 o'clock in the morning was that smell permeating our home and, and waking me from a dead sleep. So what is that smell? And where is it coming from? The West Virginia Department of Environmental Protection says they started looking into it when they received a handful of complaints last month. They say their investigation points to a coal pile fire at a nearby material handling and storage facility, Docks Creek LLC. I reached out to the company for comment, but I haven't heard back. Our next question, the number one on neighbors' minds. When you introduce something that had the noxious odor that it did, there's no way that anyone could ever convince me that that is a healthy smell that we should have been smelling. So I asked the DEP if the smell brings any potential health risks with it. They tell me they can't speak on specific health impacts, but recommends anyone who feels they may be experiencing health related issues from the odor, check with their doctor. As for whether relief is in sight or in this case in the air, the DEP says the company responsible for the fire was issued a citation for failing to control emissions. Something like dust or smoke in this instance would be considered a fugitive emission, and that's that's where the violation comes in because of the smoke that's leaving the site. Do you know if the company's made the corrections? They have not. We have actually we've extended the the deadline on the notice of violation, and we will do that in cases where the responsible party is taking every effort to abate the issue. It's just they need it's just physically you know they need more time. The DEP says it'll be keeping tabs on that issue and the company may have to pay a penalty. While Norris is glad they have found the source of the smell, she's frustrated this happened in the first place and worries it won't be the last. I'm very concerned that, yeah, you slap them on the hands now, but what keeps them from doing this again in the future? Kimberly Keggy, WSAZ News Channel 3, Canova. Well, the DEP says they are going to be checking with that company in another 30 days to make sure the issue has been resolved. We will also keep trying to reach to that company for comment.